Hasidic Gems on Parshish Emmer. It says in the Posik, um Lenefesh Loyitama Biamov. A Kayin is not allowed to become Tome to a corpse, to a dead person. And that's the meaning of Lenefesh. Nefesh is, means a soul, but here Nefesh is talking about which soul we're talking about a dead person. The Nefesh Loyitama Biamov. The Kayin is now to become Tome to a um, to a corpse. That's this simple. The Hasidic Shetayrulach are telling us no Jew, not talking about a corpse, according to the Hasidic Shetayrulach, which is not Pshat, of course, but which has strong Hashkafas. The Nefesh Layitama Biamov. We should not let a soul become Tomei. Not one soul should get lost. Every any time we know that somebody needs help, we have to try to be makar of him. The nefesh lo yitama. Don't let any soul become tummy. Try to be makar of him. We should be zeichet to this. Amen. Be amen. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Emer. So it says in the Pasik, Umin ha Migdosh Lo From the sanctuary he should not go out. The Pasik is talking about a Koyan Godel. Koyan Godel who during the Aveda found out that he is that he he's an Ainain. He he lost a parent, Rahman He does not leave the sanctuary, he does not leave the Aveda that he's serving Hashem. That's the simple. The Hasidic Shetayulach is saying, Horav HaKodesh, Reb Yisrael Baal Shem Tov, Min HaMikdosh Lo Yetzei. It's talking about each and every one of us. We should not leave the sanctuary. We should not leave Kedusha. We should not leave holiness. We should not leave being Dovuk Bashem should not leave uh, a life of 120 years of constantly devoting our lives to Hashem, to what Hashem wants, to learning Torah, to doing mitzvahs. Min amigdash lo yetze, ours uh, from, from, from the holiness, from the sanctuary within us, we should not leave, ever. We should be zeicher to this. Amen vi amen. Continuing with Hasidic gems on um, Pashas Emer, it says in the Posik, Usfartem Lochem, you should count Svira. You should count for yourselves Svira. That's the simple. The Hasidic Eterlach found another translation from, for Usfartem. Usafartem meaning sapor. Sometimes it's used as a boundary, as a, as a, 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 a boundary which is telling us, and lochem is a lot of times in <coughs> Hasidic literature, lochem means yourself, your own things, which means materialism. The lochem things, the things that you're interested in, in materialism and gashmias, the Pasuk is saying you have to curb your materialism and your gashmias, usafartem safar being a boundary. You should make a boundary about it. Don't just don't just do anything and whatever materialism and gashmias you want, try to curb it, curb it and control it that it shouldn't get the best of you. We should be zeichet to this. Amen vi amen. Okay, one more Hasidic Shetayrola. The Pasuk is talking about Shmini Atzeres. 
in Parshas Emer. It says after after the Rebbeinu Shlom gave Klal Yisrael the Antif of Sukkot, which is seven days, and now they are ready to go home. They are ready to go home from Yerushalayim. They should um, they should observe another Yantif. Shmini Atzeres. And because Koshe, as Chazal bring down, Koshe Olai Predaschem. The Rebbeinu Shalom is saying, it's hard for me, Koshe Olai Predaschem, when you leave, when you go away from me and you're going back home, Koshe Olai, it's hard for me. The Rebbeinu Shalom loves Klai Yisrael and he wants them to be in his presence. That's the simple. Hasidic Shetayla are telling us, you know what's really difficult for Hashem Koshe Olai when Predaschem, when they separate, Klai Yisrael separates from each other, Olai, and they blame it on Hashem, on, on me. In other words, this one accuses the other one, you're doing against the halacha, and I do like the halacha, and uh, so sort of they're blaming a Kodesh Baruch Hu for for um, for for their differences that they have between each other. So the pasuk is saying, Kosha Olai Predaschem. When you are Predaschem, when you are separating from each other and arguing with with each other and having machlekes with each other and blaming it on me because I I gave this and this halacha. That is something that the Rebbeinu Shlom does not appreciate at all. This one says, like, uh, mitzvah, I'm arguing with you. I'm arguing with you, L'Shei Mitzvah. And that the Rebbeinu Shlom does not want. We should be zeicha to fulfill all these Tremendous hashkafes, even though they're not pshat, but tremendous hashkafes atayra. Uh, we should be zeichet to this and be zeichet to Abraham's karen atayra. Ubias kol tzedek meherev yamenu amen.